Hola y un abrazo fuerte. Today we're going to talk about solo female safety in Mexico. If you have been studying and researching moving to Merida, Mexico, there is no doubt that you have seen the statistic that says Merida is the second safest city in the Americas. Now let's talk about that for a minute. The Americas, the entire continent. Number one came in at Quebec City and number two, Merida. This was a study done by CEO World Magazine and they compared 334 major cities. Okay, maybe that's not a lot of cities, but it's good enough for me. And then globally, Merida ranked number 21 uh, for safest cities and their metrics were safety and crime uh, globally. So that came in at a higher rating than any major city in the US. But those are just statistics and statistics are fine, but the immeasurables are the feeling of safety when you're on a trip or moving to an area. So that's what I want to cover in this video. I want to talk about why I feel safe in Merida, Mexico and my two biggest safety concerns that I do have. So please stay to the end of the video where I share my two biggest safety concerns. When I first started traveling as a young person around Europe and staying in youth hostels and things like that, I, you know, I was younger and inexperienced, so I was a little paranoid about things and in some cases rightfully so. So I would have like, I mean, this is not a money belt, but I would have like the money belt and it would be under my shirt and I would sleep with it. And I guess that did me well, but I, you know, I don't want to really live like having to carry the money belt around or being paranoid of others. I will say one time I was in Austria at a major tourist uh, attraction and I was kicked in the shin by somebody because I wouldn't give them money. <laughs> I think I did end up giving them a little bit of money, but apparently they didn't like the amount and I got kicked in the shin. So hopefully you don't get kicked in the shin. I'm pretty sure you won't in Merida, Mexico. When I first told my friends and my family that I was moving to Mexico as a single female, all alone out there in this big scary country, I got the uh, loving, but you know, the big concerns like, oh, is it safe there? Will you be okay? Um, this, that, and the other thing happened. Like they'd quote something horrible that happened at the border. Um, well, Mexico is a big country and yeah, there are places that aren't safe. Merida isn't one of them. That's like saying, don't move to Astoria, Oregon because somebody was mugged in New York. Uh, no offense, New York. I love you. Like I heart New York, but on the grand scheme of things, Mexico as a country is very safe. Uh, yes, there are places that are unsafe, but Merida is not one of them. Now, I know I quoted some statistics at the beginning of this little chat, but no matter what the statistics are, if you don't feel safe, and this is where we're gonna get into the intangibles, if you don't feel safe, then that's going to affect your trip. And that's not a nice way to travel. Do I feel safe walking around Merida day or night as a solo female traveler or resident? Absolutely, hands down, I do. I feel safer walking around Merida than I do my own hometown where I grew up, which is very sad. I do love the jazz clubs all by, and I like to stay till the very last song, and I have no problems walking home at night after visiting the jazz club. And they have a huge police presence. I always see a cop car kind of cruising by, checking things out, uh, and I've never had a problem, and I feel very safe. Crowded places. I feel perfectly safe in crowded places in Merida, Mexico, whether it's a huge market, an outdoor concert, um, an art opening. One thing I love about the country of Mexico in general is that they put on a lot of free events for their citizens and residents. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. And so many people come out to see it and families and and kids on their parents' shoulders, and it's just beautiful. And I don't think twice about, am I safe in this crowd of people? Unlike, unfortunately, where I live now in the US. I mean, I would think twice about even 
attending a major concert in a big venue or something like that. And that's a little heartbreaking. But as far as crowded places in Merida, Mexico, perfectly fine. <laughs> When I first started visiting Merida, I kind of went back to just old habits of like, like say I'm at the market and this is not my purse, but we'll use it. Say I'm at the market, right? And, and it's, I don't know, 300 pesos for all of my produce. And I used to do the thing where, you know, like you're kind of hugging it close to your body. This is so rude. But anyway, you're hugging it close to your body and you're kind of like pulling out. Don't let anybody see. Don't let anybody see if you have a 500 piece in there. Um, and I don't do that anymore. Uh, one, nobody cares <laughs> if you've got like more money than actually what you're being charged for. Um, it feels a little, I don't know, untrusting. I'm not saying whip out your cash in front of everybody, but you know, chillax. If you're at the market and you need to take your money out to find a, a 20 peso or a 50 peso, then do it. It's not, you know, they're not gonna come leaping over the counter and grab your cash. And um, I don't know, I just find it a little offensive to uh, local people that for sometimes travelers, when I see them and they're like, let me get the exact chance and not to let you see in my, yeah, it's, it's perfectly safe. Nobody's gonna come running through and grab your wallet. That's enough on that. are in Merida, Mexico as a visitor for a short time, chances are you're going to want to go to the Grand Plaza where the big, huge church is. It's beautiful. Everyone should go and visit and check out the activities there in the plaza because those are always rotating and a lot of fun. On Sundays, they're great too. Okay, I digress. So you will walk down Calle 59, Street 59. It's just going to happen. And standing outside the shops are vendors. You've got people selling tours, people wanting you to come in the restaurant and people wanting you to come in their store. Some people are annoyed by this or might feel unsafe, like this person trying to sell you a tour is really has some ulterior motive. They do not, do not be annoyed, um, be polite. You can keep walking and, and exchange a nicety, uh, especially right there, they're all gonna speak English if you don't speak Spanish, you know, no thank you, I just ate, oh sorry, we're leaving tomorrow. Um, and it's okay to keep walking. Don't feel like you have to engage, but also don't feel unsafe because they want you to come in their store or their shop. It's the way they do business. And, uh, you know, just slow your roll, enjoy it. And I know you've been asked probably a bazillion times if you've walked on 59, hey, where are you from? Um, I've started saying I'm, I'm from here, <laughs> or I live here, or I'm a resident. Um, but there's no reason to not feel safe or be annoyed. Please don't be annoyed. <laughs> the locals are very kind and very generous in Merida, in Mexico in general, but I can only speak to Merida because that's where I am. So if you are, if you need directions, ask. If you're like struggling to put something in your car that's heavy or awkward and, and somebody offers you help, accept it with gratitude. They really just genuinely want to help you very kind, very generous, loving people. So um, feel free to interact with anyone and everyone that you come upon. And furthermore, vice versa, if you see somebody uh, struggling with a sack of groceries, um, ask to carry it along with them if you're walking in the same direction. It's a beautiful experience and there are kind people in the world and a lot of them live in Merida. <laughs> Next up are my, my two biggest personal safety concerns about living in Merida. But before we get to that, if you find my content valuable, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe, like, ring the bell, make a comment, watch to the end of the video. All of those things really matter to YouTube and it helps my channel, so thank you very much. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I have two big safety concerns about living in Merida, Mexico. The first one is crossing the street. I know that might sound silly, but crossing the street in Merida, you know, if you're not looking out, it's unsafe. Now, I'm not saying that the drivers are bad or aggressive or crazy people. You just have to learn the culture. And that's, you know, it's cars first. 
pedestrians second. Unlike a lot of the culture where I'm from in the United States, people just like step out in the crosswalk and half the time they don't look or they're on their phone. Well, that'll get you killed <laughs> in, in Merida if you're not careful. So be very careful. Sometimes I will cross the street against the direction I wanna go just to get to the part of the street that I wanna cross. Uh, they have also just incorporated these traffic signals that have a crosswalk aspect to them, but that lasts like a millisecond. I mean, you have to start into the street as soon as that signal turns on and still being very aware of things. And uh, as far as like crossing in the middle of the road, you know, we're so conditioned in the US to be like, follow the rules, use the crosswalk. But in Merida, nobody cares. So if you're in the middle of a road and it's that beautiful moment where all the traffic has just gone by and there's this big wide opening with no cars just across the street. Nobody cares, it's safe. And also watch your footing on the sidewalks because those are a whole nother story. But I feel a little uneasy about crossing the street at a busy time in Merida Centro. My second biggest personal safety concern as a solo female in Mexico or just anybody in general is the heat. In the summertime, the heat is no joke. So you gotta slow down. You'll take a little bit longer to get where you're going. You might do fewer events in a day. Sometimes I will walk to where I'm going, spend time there, and then taxi back or Uber or DD. In the summertime, part of the day just becomes stopping in somewhere for an ice cream or a cold um, agua fresca before you head home or taking a staying home in the afternoon and taking a dip in the pool. And by the way, if you would like to take a dip in a pool at one of Amy's Casas, please go to amyscasa.com and I will put a link below to um, my Airbnb. Thanks. Part of the heat concern also is to stay hydrated. Like here in the US, I don't drink as much water as I should. I know, I get up and I drink a cup of coffee and then I go, go, go. Uh, but when I'm in Merida, I have to drink more and more water. So stopping in for that ice cream, or that beverage also gives you a chance to use the restroom. I'm just saying, but staying hydrated is definitely part of that, uh, concern and awareness about living in the heat in the summertime. It's a different thing. It just makes you slow your roll and that's a good thing. Do I feel safe in general as a solo female living in Merida, Mexico? If my two biggest concerns are crossing the street and staying hydrated in the heat, then that is a resounding yes. I can't wait to be there full time, very close to the end of my goal on that. If you wanna hear more about my five-year plan, getting to Merida, Mexico, watch this next video. And here we go for the outro. Un abrazo fuerte, besitos y cuídate mucho. Would you, what, what am I trying to say? Ba -ba -ba. Mm-mm.